Hello and welcome to Fleet School Live. I know several of you have joined this Fleet School Live journey since we kicked this off a couple of months ago. And I, for those of you that are coming back, again, I want to thank you. I applaud your commitment. If you're just starting this journey with us, really excited that you're joining us. Uh, we will have the recordings of the previous sessions made available. So if you're interested to hear those, please reach out and let us know. We'll make sure you have those resources available as well. As you can see from our screen today, our topic will be spent looking at the tools and resources that are available to each of you as you either use or sell Fleet Guard product solutions that we are going to be talking about, obviously, through the course of this entire webinar series. Now, if you do have questions as we move through the material, please feel free to submit those into the chat window or the Q&A chat window during this session. We'll do our best to answer those in real time. Obviously, we will have some time for questions and answers at the end of our session today. For those I have not yet had the pleasure of meeting, my name is Jay Stevenson. I'm the North American Training Leader for Cummins Filtration. I've been with Cummins for a little over eight years now. I really do love working for Cummins. It's a great company and really enjoy getting to work with the people I do. Um, I was born and raised in the middle Tennessee area here in the United States, and I currently live here with my wife and my little girl just south of the Nashville area. When I'm not on the job, I do enjoy getting outside. I love hiking, camping, spending time outdoors. I do love sports, though, and really enjoy cars and racing, so pretty much anything automotive related makes working for an engine manufacturer like Cummins such a cool experience. The first thing as we get into our material today, I want to take some time to look at the Cummins Filtration website. So this is the CumminsFiltration.com home site. If you actually go to FleetGuard.com, it will redirect you to this website just for your information if you want to type less letters there. Now, we did redesign this website a few years ago, and one of the main things that we wanted to promote on the homepage was a search bar. We know that most of the traffic coming to our website is to use, there to use that online catalog and cross-reference function. So right there towards the bottom of the middle of the screen, you'll see that quick search bar. And this is a great way to search for any fleet guard part number or OEM part number or other aftermarket crosses so that you can find that fleet guard equivalent. We're going to cover some other features of the website, but let's just start with this catalog search first. So when you pull up that online catalog function, this is the screen that you're going to see, and you can search by a single part number right there in the middle, those individual part numbers, uh, or at the top, that top bar there where it says quick search. But you can also uh, search by multiple part numbers at one time. So you can use that file upload search on the right side of your screen there where it says choose file, file upload search. And this will actually allow you to search an entire list of part numbers by uploading a .csv file, which is really, really handy if you have that extensive list of part numbers that you're trying to cross-reference. Maybe you're doing this on behalf of an end-user account, uh, if you sell Fleet Guard products, and this is something that really can help speed up that process as you're looking to quote out filter business to a customer. It's really a good, a good way to tackle this. It's definitely gonna save you some time rather than searching all of those part numbers individually. Now, once you search for a part number, you should see some sort of result come up if there's a cross. And if we don't have a cross to that part number that you searched, it's obviously going to let you know that. But if you do find the part number that you're looking for, you should see a result like the example here on the screen. So if it's an upgrade or replacement part number for the part number that you searched, if something is available as either an upgrade or replacement, it's going to show you that on that immediate result, just like you see here on the screen. So let's just click on this Fleet Guard LF9009 part number as our example. After selecting the part number, you're going to see some more specific information about that particular product. This is things I'm getting, going to include things like filter dimensions, performance, primary applications where that filter would be used, and cross-reference information if there are Fleet Guard upgrades or even downgrades in the event that you need a substitute product. Now, I will be candid, not all of the products in our more than 8,000 unique part numbers are going to show this much information in the online catalog. That is something we're well aware of, something that we're working on to clean up those gaps in the catalog. But obviously, it is a time-consuming process. So if you ever run into a part number where there's a lack of information that you would need, I would recommend that you reach out and connect with your local Fleet Guard representative wherever you're located, and they should be able to help get that information from our technical support group. So if you do run into a situation where you're looking for information like what you see here on the screen and it doesn't populate for that specific part number, 
that is probably the best place to start. Reach out to your local fleet guard representative and they'll be able to kind of work that process and we'll get you information into your hands. But let's go back to the homepage for just a minute. So when you're on the homepage, if you scroll down, you will see these red icons on the right side of the screen labeled quick links. These are most of the other things that I wanna talk about in our time together today. All of these are very handy tools and resources for you to take advantage of. So we made them easy to find right there on the home page, home site for CumminsFiltration.com. So if you scroll down on the home page, you'll be able to find all of these quick links. We're going to start with the where to buy icon. So if you see that where to buy icon over on the right side, we're going to go ahead and click on that. And it's going to take you to the Flea Guard Retail Locator. And this is a great way for someone to find the nearest retail location that sells genuine Flea Guard products. You're going to want to make sure you select Flea Guard under the product category there at the top, and then the type of retail location that you want to search for. And lastly, you're going to want to add your address, your physical address, so that it knows what geographic area to search. Now, as an example, let's take a look at Flea Guard retail locations in the Melbourne area. So using Cummins Filtrations, uh, our office address there in the Melbourne area, we can see a handful of Flea Guard retail locations in the surrounding area, in the vicinity. Now, I know that some of you on the call are sellers of Flea Guard products, so this may not be entirely hand, uh, helpful for you in finding a product because you know where the product is. It's, it's right there in your own location. But I would encourage you to double check the retail locator and make sure your sales location is actually showing up on the retail locator. Obviously, you wanna be easy for your potential customers to find. If you're not showing up on the retail locator, you're gonna be more difficult to find. So I would very much encourage you, again, check to see if you show up, if your physical location, your shop location, store location shows up on the retail locator. And if it is not showing up, Again, please reach out to your local Flea Guard representative and we can help you get that physical store location address added to that online retail locator. So it's a good thing to go and double check. Just make sure you're showing up on the website. If somebody was looking for a place to buy genuine Flea Guard product, if you sell it, you want to make sure you're showing up on this retail locator. If we go back to the homepage, let's next look at Flea Guard product literature. You'll see a bar of categories at the top of the screen. And if you hover over resources, a drop down tab will appear with some options. And at the top of that list, you see product literature. After you click on that section, you're going to be taken to a page with all the different Fleet Guard literature available for viewing uh, or as a PDF download. And each piece of, piece of literature carries a LT number or literature number. That's its identification tag. And that LT number is very important for ordering product literature, which we're going to cover next. But go ahead, click on that green hyperlinked text that reads English, and it's going to pull up the PDF of the literature that you want to see in your browser. So if you kind of scroll, scroll through the website, you're looking for the piece of literature that you want. Obviously, you just see where it says English and green on that piece of literature, and you'll click on that, and it'll open up the piece of literature that you're looking for. You can then save the PDF to your computer if you want to reference later, or if you want to just grab that URL, grab the, the link for that piece of literature and email it to a customer or to somebody else, whoever you want to send it to. That's all you have to do. Just grab that URL and send it. So simple enough, but you know, I did mention physical literature. So what if you want to order hard copies of this piece of literature that we're looking at? To make sure you can get your hands on physical literature and catalogs, the best thing you can do is probably speak with your local business manager to make arrangements. Or if they have you set up with a GPI account, you can easily order literature for free. All you have to do is log into your GPI account, click on, uh, all you have to do is click on literature. And uh, once you've selected merchandise, you'll see some options for Fleet Guard branded items and an option for literature. So you'll be able to select that icon and See, then you can shop for the specific marketing literature that you'd like to get your hands on, basically. So simply select what physical copies you'd like to order and then click on the shopping cart in the top right of your screen. You click on merchandise and merchandise is gonna take you to uh, some options here where we've got some different categories. And so you wanna simply scroll over 
look for the shop literature section and you'll click on that shop literature section. And basically from there, you can pick, pick out the pieces of literature from the website that you wanted, that you were looking for, and you just add it to your shopping cart on the screen there and you go and check out. Uh, basically enter your postage details and whatnot. It's gonna send that material on to your physical address or wherever you need to send it. So pretty simple process. If you have any questions about how to get registered on that site, again, feel free to reach out. We can make sure to patch that information through to you so you can figure out how to get that account registered. I uh, would encourage you, you know, you mentioned, uh, you saw on the screen as we went through, uh, you can also pick out some of this other Fleet Guard gear that's on the site as well. Looks like the marketing team down there has some really nice apparel and some gifts either for your customers or for yourself. So would highly encourage you to take advantage of the resources that they put out there for you guys. Next thing I wanted to move on to was the mobile app. So there is a Fleet Guard mobile app. If you did not know that, if you've got a smartphone, this is a great tool for any of your outside part salespeople who aren't normally sitting in front of a computer, but maybe you need to access or cross-reference uh, you know, part numbers or uh, get online and look at the catalog for part number information. Maybe you're not sitting around at a computer. Mobile app is a great way to have that information at your fingertips. Uh, the mobile app has actually been around for several years, but it recently went through a big overhaul. So uh, maybe some of the limitations that we had with the previous version of the app basically better than ever. So it's a great tool to have, doesn't cost anything. You can download it from the app store. Um, you can find that either uh, out on the, for Android devices, or you can get it through the app store for any iPhone devices. So uh, regardless of what you got, uh, you can find that fairly easily for both. Actually, if you scan the phone with your camera right now on the little QR code in the top right, it should pull that up where you can go ahead and download the Fleet Guard app. So it's a great resource to have in your back pocket. Again, is if you're out, you're, you're out in the car, you're driving, you're visiting customers, you're not near a computer where you can check for part numbers online. It's a great way to do some cross-referencing uh, on the go. Another resource that you should be taking advantage of is the Cummins Filtration YouTube channel. There's really, really good content out on the YouTube channel. I've got several uh, videos on how to do installations of you know, popular filter applications. Got some great coolant material out there on the website as well. So I uh, would highly encourage you to take advantage of those. Now, I do realize, you know, I'm here in North America. Much of this content is aimed at a North American audience, but I would encourage you, there's still some really good globally applied uh, knowledge about certain technologies like NanoNet and other things of that nature. So there's still a lot to learn. And I would encourage you also, if you, if you think there's content that would be helpful for your audience, for your market, um, obviously, please reach out to Joe or to Kim, the marketing team there, Fleet Guard in, in Australia, and uh, I'm sure they'd be more than happy to help try and facilitate getting some of that type of information out on the YouTube channel. Uh, it's very popular here in North America, so it's always a good way to get information in the hands of uh, people that are interacting with Fleet Guard products on a daily basis. Just some examples here of some of the types of content that's out there. If you haven't been on the YouTube channel before, it's a, it's a great place to get some good information. Another tool that we have out there is the My Fleet Guard Portal. Now, you may know this already, but the My Fleet Guard Portal is designed to be a self-service site for customers who are ordering Fleet Guard product. So we do have an internal team that handles kind of our, at least here in, in North America, our 1-800 number for customer inquiries about shipping, uh, order information, you know, placing manual orders over the phone, those kinds of requests. And really, this site is designed to give you a way to do that stuff online without having to call anybody on the phone and talk to anyone uh, over the phone that way. Of course, you know, the team isn't going to go anywhere. So, you know, if you want to call in, you want to talk to somebody over the phone, uh, obviously we here at Fleet Guard and Cummins Filtration would be glad to do that. But if you want to have that type of access to information faster, that's what the My Fleet Guard portal is designed to do. So I would definitely encourage you, if you're not familiar with the My Fleet Guard portal, um, you know, again, please reach out to your Cummins uh, filtration, your Fleet Guard representative there locally, and they should be able to provide some information about the My Fleet Guard portal. Um, registration is pretty simple. Basically, you just go to myfleetguard.com, and you'll be able to see some some limited information until you actually register an account. So you can go to myfleetguard.com today. You can log in and see that site. Um, you're going to see some limited information, but you can't don't have full functionality of the site until you actually register an account. 
But registration is very easy. You simply click on that login icon at the top of the page, and you're going to walk through the steps that are listed here on the screen. So basically, a Fleet Guard customer support analyst is either going to approve or reject your request for an account. Hopefully, they approve it, but if there's, an, if there's some sort of reason why they're going to re, um, reject that, they'll let you know. But um, they're going to approve that account. Once you get approved, then you'll be able to set your password and start using the site. Um, so this is something that's been around for about a year. So we are still fine tuning the site's capabilities. And we really do anticipate progressing the features and functionalities of the My Fleet Guard portal as we move into the future. But it is a great way to look up order status, order history. Um, you can see packing slips, um, all that type of information right at your fingertips about placed orders. So you don't have to go and call somebody and email back and forth. You can kind of go in and look from your account and see that information. So it's a great resource to, to have and to use. Next thing I wanted to talk about is more training. So obviously we're doing a little bit of training in this Fleet School Live program, but we have some other training that's out there available for users today as well at fleetschool.com. So that's kind of really the inspiration for our Fleet School Live webinar series that we're doing. But about 10 years ago, Cummins Filtration started a website for free training called fleetschool.com. And basically these are modules that cover basics about filtration and engine coolant. So if you want to learn about how a fuel filter works, or you want to learn about air filtration, or you want to learn about coolant, basically you can go in, self-register an account, and go through these courses, modules, online modules, and there's um, some knowledge quizzes at the end, and you can get your certificates for those different uh, different product lines and, and the different courses and modules we have out on that site. So it's a great way to go in and learn, uh, get a little bit more information as you're trying to learn more about filtration and coolant, and certainly learn a little bit more about filtration from a fleet guard perspective. So you can see some of the courses here uh, at, that are on the site today. So it'll give you sort of a sense of what this information look like. looks like. There's some quizzes at the end of each, each topic. So uh, it's really, it's, it's kind of go at your own pace. You can self-register an account. I do a lot of management on that site. So if you have any questions about how to, how to get access or uh, maybe you're having trouble getting an email to come back to you during the registration process or something like that, please feel free to, free to reach out to me. I'm glad to work with you and, and get that remedied for you. There you can see kind of what the certificate looks like once you've completed a course. And, uh, you know, some, some folks re are required to do a certain amount of training every year. So it's kind of a good way to go and knock some of that training out. One other thing that I wanted to talk about for sure is the e-update. So there is a monthly e-newsletter that you can sign up for on the CumminsFiltration.com site, uh, just our main website. Um, you can also access that from the main homepage. So if you scroll down on the main CumminsFiltration.com page, down on the bottom right, those quick links that we talked about, you'll see one for the e-update. And it's basically a once a month newsletter that's going to give you really the latest news for all things Fleet Guard. So uh, it's, a, it's a great way to get uh, again, kind of stay in the loop. One of the main drivers there you see in the bottom uh, middle of the screen is the new product bulletin. So every time that e-newsletter goes out, it's going to have a new product bulletin tied to it. And it's going to show basically all the Fleet Guard product releases that we have had uh, since the last one came out, essentially. So if you're trying to stay in the know about new part numbers, new Fleet Guard crosses, that's a great way to stay informed about all things Fleet Guard that are happening. So definitely would encourage you to sign up for that. And as we talk about tools and resources, I have to mention our people. Uh, that's certainly something that plays a big part of our success and a big part of uh, our thanks with you and, and the way we work with you guys. Our people are a resource. And in terms of field support, you know, there are territory managers across Australia. We've got coolant and technical specialists that are based in Victoria. So um, I just would take a moment to make sure to emphasize you know, we do have a lot of expertise, a lot of knowledge in this business, and we certainly are here to help support you and, and support your customers. So if you ever have any questions about uh, anything filtration or coolant related, you know, we certainly would encourage you to lean on your experts that are there locally, and, and certainly um, they will be more than happy to help you. You know, we want to be your supplier uh, for life if you're selling Fleet Guard or using Fleet Guard. So certainly lean on us and, and lean on our expertise. As we come to the conclusion of our uh, 
Fleet School Live topic today. I didn't want to leave you with a few thoughts. You know, we recognize that our customers have a choice when it comes to the filtration and coolant products that they use and sell. So we kind of come back to our question we've, we've asked a few times already in this Fleet School Live program. You know, why should you choose Fleet Guard and why should a customer choose Fleet Guard? I think, first of all, we're the only filter and coolant manufacturer that's part of an engine company. And that means that we provide the premium solutions in the marketplace, something that makes us different from the other brands that are out there today. Secondly, we've got an abundant amount of tools, resources, and expertise when it comes to all things filtration and coolant related for diesel powered equipment. You don't have to do it alone. You can lean on us for help. You know, please utilize the experts that we have, the expertise we've got, the knowledge base that we have as part of Cummins Filtration. Uh, certainly let us be that resource for you. And lastly, as it relates to our people, right, we do have a great team here at Cummins Filtration being a part of the world's largest independent diesel engine manufacturer means we have a huge network and the highest caliber of personnel to help you be successful. And as I mentioned earlier, we want to be our customer's supplier for life when it comes to filtration and coolant products. That's really all the information that I prepared for this session today. This time we'll open it up for any questions that you guys may have. And um, certainly Joe can help me answer any questions that you guys may have as it relates to uh, specific for, for your market down there. But obviously please feel free to either use the chat window, the Q&A function, this time and we'll try and work through those questions now. Thank you. Okay, I'm not seeing any questions come through. So if there's no questions coming through now, um, we can go ahead and, and call it a wrap for today. But of course, you know, don't hesitate to reach out if you think of a question later on, either to myself or to Joe, we'd be more than happy to help you. Um, I would like to remind everyone that the next Fleet School Live webinar will be held on Thursday, May 27th. That's 9 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. So uh, I really hope to see you back for more Fleet School Live as we talk about air filtration. I think it's going to be a great topic. Hopefully have some good discussion there. And hopefully, hopefully you guys bring some good questions to the table. Um, hope you, have, you guys have a fantastic rest of your Thursday. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.